guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Phil in case you're clicking this video for the first time you are much much welcome so in today's video I'll be showing you how to make complex fried chicken if you've never tried complex fried chicken this is your chance to try it and I promise you you are going to fall in love with it it's super crunchy on the outside and very tender soft and juicy on the inside this recipe is super simple so easy anyone can make it at home the ingredients are readily available in the kitchen right now so without saying more let's get started So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our chicken breast. I'm using four chicken breasts. These ones are fresh. I've nicely washed them and then I've just dried them. So you're just going to cut them into nice strips as you see the way I'm doing it here. Once you're done, you'll keep it aside and we go to our next step. Now let's make our chicken marinade. So in your bowl you will add milk. I'm also adding cornstarch flour and also with some spices. You're going to mix this well until it's nicely incorporated. So remember to get the whole written recipe in the description box down below. And if you're new to this channel, you're much welcome. Don't forget to subscribe for more of my amazing recipes. So now we will add the chicken pieces in the marinade. Make sure all the chicken is coated in that marinade. And once you're done mixing it, you're going to let this sit in the fridge for at least two hours or until overnight because we want the chicken to become very juicy and tender once it's fried so here is the cornflakes that i'll be using i'm using about two cups of this so what you'll do next you're going to pour this inside a ziploc bag and just using a wooden stick you're going to crush this cornflakes into smaller pieces I So once you're done crushing the cornflakes, transfer it to a small bowl and then next you're going to season this cornflakes. So here I'm using some spices. I've listed everything in the description box down below. So you're just going to mix everything together until it's nicely incorporated. Now you will transfer it to a flat plate so that it will be easier for you to cut the chicken. So now let's see how our chicken is. As you can see, it has been marinating for two hours. So this means it's ready. For the next step so you're just going to pick each piece and then place it on the cornflakes then you're going to make sure every part of the chicken is coated so this is how your chicken pieces should look so just repeat this step with the other chicken pieces and once you're done you'll place them on a board as we get ready to fry them So now you'll add some vegetable oil on your frying pan and then you're just going to heat that so to test if it's ready insert a wooden stick if you see bubbles that means the oil is ready to use slowly you'll place the chicken pieces in the hot oil and then you're just going to fry this for about seven to eight minutes while turning until they are nicely golden brown on the outside and as you can see they are ready at this point so we'll just remove them from the hot oil piece by piece place them on a kitchen towel to drain more excess oil before we serve I usually serve these yummy chicken tenders with this simple mayonnaise sauce and this is how to make it so in a bowl you will add mayonnaise some Dijon mustard and some hot and sweet chili sauce you're going to mix this well until everything is nicely incorporated as you can see the sauce is ready so what you'll do you'll transfer it to a serving bowl and then we're gonna serve it with our chicken tenders and that's just it and as you can see they look so amazing and yummy they are super crunchy on the outside very tender and juicy on the inside serve it with the mayonnaise dip some potato wedges on the side and finish it with some cold drink I'm telling you you will love love it and that's what we're making today guys thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed watching this video I hope you're going to try this recipe and as usual don't forget to tell me how yours came out on the comment section down below i want to thank everyone who has subscribed to this channel everyone following everyone making my recipes thank you so much for more of my amazing recipes remember to get me on instagram at fields underscore kitchen or also on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video bye, bye.